Boris Johnson must not give in to the European Union in four key areas in trade talks, Brexiteer Ben Habib has warned. The ex-Brexit party MEP insisted the UK must not back down on state aid, fishing and the European Court of Justice ECJ. Mr Habib added Britain must also make sure any deal is not permanent and can be terminated if it is flawed. The Brexiteer businessman told Express.co.uk, the key areas we need to look at when they produce the deal is what the terms of the state aid rules are. They will try I'm sure to make it look as if we're not aligning with EU state aid law but we will need to read the detail to see what kind of yard sticks we're signing up to as far as state aid is concerned. Actually the document should not mention state aid if it's a proper document. World Trade Organization rules already lay down yardsticks for which countries should follow in order to comply with WTO regulations on state aid and that should be sufficient for the EU. Anything about state aid law in the future trade agreement is likely to be a dilution of the independence of the UK. The businessman demanded Britain has full control of its waters post-Brexit. Mr Habib said, on fishing, the kind of areas we need to look at is are we taking back of all 200 miles of our nautical water or are we only going to take back control of the 12 miles immediately off the coast of the UK? Is the government going to try and pull the wool over our eyes based on that kind of difference? What they really need to do on fishing is ensure the EU has no rights within any of the 200 miles of our water other than those that we grant them on an annual basis at our discretion. Anything less than that would be a compromise on fishing. The former MEP added that another critical area is the role of the ECJ after Brexit. He said, at the moment under the political declaration the ECJ has a really special position and it gets to interpret all aspects of any trade agreement that relate to EU law which basically means the EU can dictate to us what it thinks the interpretation of a trade agreement is.